Hi, I'm Tom Bancroft. I'm a former Disney animator. I'm also an author and an illustrator, a character designer, uh, an instructor, uh, and I'm now the CEO of my new animation company, Pencilish Animation Studios. And today I wanted to talk to you about a few tips and tricks that I can offer you to be a better artist. And this one's a big one. I'm a, I must admit, um, through the years, I get a lot of emails and texts uh, from artists that want to become professionals. They want to work at Disney or Pixar or some of the big studios. And so what they oftentimes are asking me is, look at my portfolio and will you please let me know how I can become better? How can I improve as an artist? And oftentimes, especially if they're very young, um, the answer is usually you just need to draw more. Um, drawing more is an easy answer. It's a very frustrating answer though for the artist receiving that because what does that mean exactly? Do I just draw in my sketchbook as many as and just try and time it and make sure that I get in a good hour or two every day? Well, yeah, in some cases that is true, but the heart of what I'm suggesting, I finally figured out through many years of really kind of boiling down what is the thing that I need to tell people. Uh, because as I teach, I'm often teaching young people coming out of high school that want to get and become a professional artist. And I need to really distill to them what is the one thing that they need to learn. And so, when, so instead of saying draw more, um, here's my answer to you, all of you, that you want to get better. I now can tell you on almost guarantee that you will get 80% better within maybe even a year, uh, in a short amount of time, if you do this one thing. And that's draw more iterations. And what iterations are is variations, versions, more versions of whatever it is you're trying to draw. So if I give myself a challenge in my sketchbook and I wanna draw a lamp and just get better at that, I'm gonna draw not just one lamp, I'm gonna draw a full page full of lamps. Then I'm gonna turn the page and give myself a new challenge. I'm gonna draw a bird. I'm gonna look at reference. I'm gonna learn how to draw that bird. Now I'm gonna draw multiple birds, different kinds of birds. And here's a good example of that. As a character designer, I have to do that. I have to be able to say, okay, I'm gonna draw a bunch of different dogs because maybe in this case, the client has said they want a bunch of uh, cute little shaggy terrier type dogs. Well, that's a lot of different kinds of dogs. And so I started by doing this, just filling up pages. Some of them are cute and they're kind of younger and puppy. Some of them are older and, uh, and, and then some are long and some are small. Um, but here's the thing I don't do is if I went and I just did this, a very tight drawing and gave them maybe one or two options, this is not what a client wants to see. It's also not how I'm gonna become a better artist and get to know dogs really well. If you wanna learn how to draw hands a lot, you gotta do this. You gotta fill up pages of drawing hands. More iterations makes you a better artist, but it also will do another thing, and I'll get to that in a minute, which is teach you how to think better. Here's the other thing I don't do, is I don't go too tight too soon. These are very tight. These are my second iterations of dogs. This is not the way I would draw it the first time. Again, I'm doing this, really rough sketches, my first pass. My second pass, I start to tie down and get tighter. And I don't do this, my very finished rendered version, until much later. This is my last step. And so one thing that I wanna tell you guys, um, uh, so part of this that I'm trying to tell you is, one, draw more variations, and two, don't go to final too soon. You don't start with this. You start with rough and just sketching and then you work your way up. And so you wanna, instead of doing 80% of your time doing a finished piece and 20% of your time doing the sketch beforehand, you wanna reverse that. I want you to do 80% of your time just doing sketches and 20% of your time doing the final. Here's the, the last thing I wanna tell you. The third thing that you're gonna learn from this is how to think as an artist. And I wanna tell you that this is one of the things that will help you get hired. All clients don't just want somebody very talented that knows how to draw well, they want somebody that can think and be able to come up with ideas. And this, what comes with working like this and doing more iterations is you're gonna improve your drawing, 
you are going to uh, stay rough and learn that character and that, that anatomy and all the things that go along with it. But also three, you're going to learn how to think like an artist. You're going to start thinking about how do I come up with a better version? Oh, I like this one or I like the head on this and the body on that. Now you're going to be able to start combining them and coming up with new ideas. And so all of those three things combined come out of iterations. Do that now and you will improve within a year.